Meanwhile, the chairman of Zango Kataf local government area of Kaduna State, Francis Sani, has put the death toll from attacks by bandits at Runji village in the council on Saturday at 33. Sani says over 40 houses were burned by the invading bandits, while seven persons sustained injuries and are presently receiving treatment at the hospital. And feared of the government and security agencies do not intervene on time, the whole community could be completely wiped out. He says the victims were given a mass burial. And heavily armed gunmen invaded the community around 10 p.m. on Saturday and opened fire on the villagers, most of whom were asleep. According to the report, troops had a fierce encounter with the attackers and are still in the general area. And while waiting for a detailed report, Governor Nasser El Rafai, who received the preliminary report in the early hours of yesterday, has condemned the killings as unacceptable and unjustifiable as he condoled the families that lost their loved ones and prayed for the repose of their victims' souls. He also prayed for the speedy recovery of the injured. And meanwhile, Adamawa State is expressing a new wave of chaotic scenes as protesters believed to be loyal to the incumbent governor, Amadou Umar Fintari, stumps the office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, demanding justice be done. The protesters chorusing, give us our mandate, Fintari won. The state became tense yesterday when INEC resident electoral commissioner in the state, Yunusa Hudu Ali, declares all Progressive Congress, APC Aisha to Ahmed Dahiru Binani, the governor-elect, after a rerun election. And Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.